Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Large container ships with enormous carrying capacities have changed the landscape of commercial shipping in the world. These containers are designed and operated to transport manufactured goods to connect different parts of the world. These products can include armament, machinery, food, furniture, and clothing, usually in truck size freight. Indeed, they transport more than just goods. They also foster international relations in the political landscape. These vessels have become bigger due to several factors, including increased market demand and operating efficiency, and they have become more technologically advanced and fuel efficient. Despite the enormous size of these vessels, they are usually operated by a small team of around 20 to 35 people. A crewman on board usually works two four-hour on-duty shifts in a 24-hour period, and their work schedule typically includes inspecting, operating, and maintaining the ship's machinery. They help with ship navigation and weather reports and guarantee the cleanliness of the ship. The container ship is designed to spend most of its time at sea and is designed to accommodate the needs of its crew. The ship's cabins are typically spacious and furnished with several amenities needed in day-to-day -day life. You can recline on your desk after a good sleep on the couch to read books from the bookcases. Each cabin is properly designed with beds and wardrobes. The ship has a dining room and a kitchen with standard utensils and equipment to the same degree as a kitchen facility that supplies a whole neighborhood. After all, food is needed to provide the energy required to keep the ship in operation. There is a provision for sports enthusiasts to use at their leisure for sports, and a recreation center and a gym are needed for physical exercise. Even though working through holidays can be difficult when you're separated from your family for months at a time, the crew finds ways to have fun. Because of the availability of internet access, the crew doesn't have to worry about communicating with their families or keeping up with what's going on in the world. There are several vessels on the seas, and one of these colossal vessels is the Maersk with a carrying capacity of 18,270 20-foot equivalent units, also known as TEUs. Measuring 400 meters long, 59 meters wide, 14.5 meters in a draught, and with a dead weight of 165,000 tons, it comfortably has one of the world's biggest container carrying capacities. Before embarking on intermodal freight transport, the performance and seaworthiness of these large ships are usually measured and assessed in a process known as sea trials. During sea trials, various factors are tested. The vessel is tested for its speed against different magnitudes of wind and tide, 
and these speeds are accurately recorded to analyze its speed performance. The ship is also tested for its endurance, as it is also subjected to these maneuvering trials. This test analysis gives information on the ease of operating the ship and its directional stability to ensure the safety of the ship, the crew, and the cargo to be transported. Before a container vessel is loaded for freight transport, the ship is usually inspected for any damage to some of its critical parts through a docking procedure. This process is necessary at the port to know the kind of equipment to bring on board the ship and what needs to be done before loading the containers and during the freight transport. There is usually a stowage plan to follow, which details the method in which the vessel is loaded depending on its size, and standard procedure to maximize the economy of shipping and safety for the crew on board. One way to keep a ship upright during loading or unloading with containers is to stack the containers gradually from left to right or right to left. The loading process involves using trucks to transport cargo to enormous cranes, which then lift the containers and cargo onto the ship and lock them securely. assist in lashing these containers to the deck to keep them secure during the journey. This process is usually very fast, with the ultimate advantage of facilitating rapid international trade in an economized fashion. big vessels in use by the United States Navy is the Harper's Ferry class, which can be categorized as dock landing ships. This gigantic class of ships uses a propulsion system that uses 16-cylinder diesel engines with two propellers and two shafts and can reach a speed of about 22 knots. It's about 186 meters long with a 25.6 meter beam and a draft length of about 6 meters and can have up to 16,500 tons of full load displacement. As one of the landing ship's docks, it serves several purposes from transporting personnel, vehicles, and cargo to any coastal environment worldwide, to launching equipment on the shore to support military and humanitarian assistance operations. They are extremely versatile and can also be used in several other missions. They equip the naval forces with the capability to pull out troubled civilians quickly and effectively from hostile areas, thereby providing the Navy and Marine Corps the choice to conduct non-combatant evacuation operations. The ship can carry tons of relief materials to victims within hours of arrival on the scene. Indeed, it serves the dual purpose of being a warship and being a ship of peace. In fact, being on board this ship can be fun, especially when it's time for a national celebration like Independence Day.
They can even grill and enjoy a steel beach picnic on the ship's deck. In addition to having a barbecue, they can even extend the celebration to playing sports, dancing, and music. Apart from the LSD ships, the United States Naval Forces also use the landing platform docks, which are used to convey Marine personnel during a military invasion of a foreign territory, away from established bases. LPD ships also use four diesel engines, two boilers, and two shafts, and can have an excess of 22 knots of speed with some 171 meters in length, 25.2 meter beams, and approximately 17,000 ton displacement at full load. Just like the LSDs, they can also be equipped with some armament, like two 25 millimeter Bushmaster II cannons for surface defense with a maximum range of 4.1 nautical miles, firing around 175 rounds per minute, and two rolling airframe missile launchers for air defense, which has a range of about three to five nautical miles. These armaments combine to provide 360-degree absolute coverage in both air and surface defense. The crew operating a typical LPD consists of an officer of the deck who is stationed on the bridge and reports to the ship's commanding officer. The junior officer of the deck is the assistant to the officer on deck, while the conning officer gives the helmsman, the guy who steers the ship, the course to steer the ship. The quartermasters help navigate the open seas, and they usually specialize in maps, charts, and oceanography, and help keep the ship safe and operational toward its destination. The second officer on board also assists in shipboard navigation and uses satellite and other navigational resources to plot and monitor the ship's position. Also, there are lookout personnel whose primary duty is to be able to detect and report the possibilities of a collision or stranding. Their job is basically to provide visual inspection in a bid to prevent accidents. It's interesting to know that the personnel aboard this impressive vessel can be allowed to take a breather and enjoy the calm waves of the ocean as a swimming pool. A military tradition known as the swim call is often witnessed when the ship stops somewhere in the ocean to allow for a couple of hours of swimming in the calm waters on the lee side of the ship. <laughs> Crew members must stay close to the ship for obvious safety reasons, and there is a lookout who keeps an eye out for sharks and also serves as a lifeguard. This swim call tradition is usually done impromptu, and with all of its fun, the exercise greatly improves the morale of those on board the ship. Since LPDs help transport Marines with their equipment, it's only logical that they are equipped with a vast amount of storage facilities.
LPD-17, for instance, has more than 20,000 square feet of wheeled vehicle storage space and more than 28,000 cubic feet of cargo and ammunition storage. These ships, with the amphibious military capability, are so important for the nation's ability to exploit its command of the seas with better use of influence and power. The LSDs and LPDs enable forces to use the maritime as a base for operations, particularly when a rapid ingress of sustainable military combat forces is required to aid military operations, thereby contributing to the protection of national security interests. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.